Uyu adui wa Kayongo. Striker is an enemy of the farmer. In my case, it has manifested hunger and even illnesses. It is the reason for this poverty. I had given up planting maize two years ago due to striga manifestation. There is no need planting maize, which yields poorly. This area is home to striga. People plant, but no yield. We used to uproot the weed and throw it along the road. Little did we know that we were multiplying it. This is not a bouquet of flowers. This beautiful plant is the notorious, obnoxious striger weed that accounts for over one billion US dollars loss in reduced maize yields across the African continent. Striger harmonthica and Striger asiatica have infested an estimated 22 to 40 million hectares of farmland in Africa. It is not a wonder that it is called the witch weed because it is believed to bewitch the maize. The Striger weed certainly poses an ominous obstacle to a continent struggling with food insecurity and rural stagnation. It continues to baffle both the scientists and farmers alike. What gives scientists as well as farmers headache is that herbicides that would kill the weed end up killing the crop too further, complicating what is already a bad enough problem. We are also trying to see how we can fine-tune this technology to make it effective in terms of controlling striga and also developing maize which has at least two modes of action so that at least we don't rely on only, only one upside. A public and private sector partnership has taken steps towards equipping farmers with useful packages of technology and information. It is a, a new variety which has been developed with, uh, by, by cement breeders in collaboration with our partners like Curry and uh, in an effort of trying to address the striker problem not just in Kenya but also in the region. We are the ones who are providing Imasa Peel which is used to treat the seeds. We are also uh, providing some research funds to develop a uh, new generation of materials uh, or jump plus in which will be available to the farmers. Farmers should not think of doing it individually on your farm and then you celebrate. Gains will only be attained if farmers do it collectively. Political goodwill of the African governments is key to the realization of a striker-free continent. I wish to reiterate the government's commitment to promoting new agricultural technologies and information as the basis of a thriving system. The Western Seed Company have rolled out striker-resistant maize seeds, locally known as Ua Kayongo, to the market. This is maize which has been coated with a chemical called imazepar. Uh, the imazepar is fatal to normal maize, but to IR maize, which is imazepar resistant maize, it's not fatal. We are also involved um, in uh, stewardship issues, and this basically is you know, t uh, kind of training farmers using village workshops for them to use uh, Uwakayongo maize in, um, in the most uh, you know, beneficial way. Tests in Western Kenya are yielding encouraging results and hopes, spirits and demand for the seeds are high. We have plenty of food now. I've also become a showcase because everyone in the neighborhood admires my crop. This little farm of mine made me very, very happy. People are still wondering what I did. I harvested 270 kilograms of maize up from 40 kilograms. I'm very glad I tried the IR technology. The treated maize is showing a lot of improvement. It should be called the wonder seed. So the response has been very overwhelming. Most of them are asking if the credit facility could be extended for them in terms of the seeds. It is estimated that if Striger was struck out of Africa today, over 2.5 billion hectares of maize farmland will become productive, translating to approximately 400 million U.S. dollars worth of profit.
This will of course only materialize through a shared vision and solid commitment to transforming African agriculture. Now is the time to refine and integrate these control strategies into practices compatible with operations familiar to small-scale farmers.